Hello everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with a very special tips and tricks video for Halo 4. The game has just come out, I picked it up last night, and I'm already looking into all the intricacies, all the details, anything that you can do to gain an advantage over the competition, okay? And I have some very important tips for you in the, uh, the settings and the loadouts menu. Um, because there's a lot of new things, a lot of changes, and if you get these things right before you dive into your games, you're really going to have an advantage, and you're going to be winning more often, okay? So let's just jump right in. I've got a lot of really cool things to show you. So I'm just at the, uh, the Halo 4 home menu where you can choose between Campaign and Infinity and Waypoint and the Marketplace. Um, and you can really access the, uh, the Spartan Hub from any menu, but I'm just going to do so right now by hitting the Start button, okay? And you can see from the Spartan Hub, you can track your career, like with the challenges and your rank, your service record, and so forth. I'm not going to go into that today, but that's right here. You can also customize your Spartan armor and your Spartan ID, like your, your emblem and, and your tag that people see in the game. But most importantly, you can change your loadouts. And I'm going to get to that in just a second, but that's very important, and it's a new feature here in Halo 4. Uh, further down here... You've got uh, audio and video controls, uh, you've got your controller uh, settings, you've got your network settings and your file browser. If uh, any of you out there want to capture or save any of your videos, you just need to go into the file browser right here and uh, go under like films and clips. Go to your recent uh, history, your temporary history, and then you can go in and save any of the uh, recent games that you've played. So these are some games I've played recently. I've saved several. And uh, once they've been saved, they're in your local files here. And uh, you can go back and replay anything in your local files, or you can upload them to your file share. For those of you who like to go back and rewatch your videos or use them for you know creating YouTube videos and so forth, that's all right there in the file browser. I don't want to focus too much on that right now. I do want to point out that this uh, controller area here, this is very, very important. Uh, there's a default uh, layout here, which uh, I, I wasn't really as comfortable with this. It, it probably is the best setting for this game, so I might go back and try and readjust to this and get used to it. Um, but I was, you know, hitting all the wrong buttons at the wrong times, and so I jumped over to the recon configuration, which I'm much more comfortable with. Um, you'll see some other familiar favorites like the bumper jumper and, and uh, so forth, the green thumb. Um, so I really like recon. Now I'm not saying by any means that you should choose recon, but what you should do is you should go in here and look at all the different layouts and decide which one is going to work best for you. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer here. There's a lot of different uh, controller configurations, and uh, I like recon. I may try to go back to the default, see how it works, but the point is you need to find something that works for you. You know, play around with it. Play a couple games with one uh, layout, play a couple games with a different configuration, and see what works best for you. Okay, so that's very, very important to do. Let's go back a little bit here. The other setting that you really want to make sure that you do not neglect, especially early on, is your loadouts. If you don't go in and customize your loadouts, you're really going to have a disadvantage in the game, okay? Because there's a couple games I was playing where I didn't have any loadouts at all, and uh, my opponents did, and obviously you're really going to struggle if you don't have your favorite weapons, you don't have any armor abilities, which I didn't have. I didn't have. I wasn't getting any grenades. It was really miserable. So you really need to go in and make sure that you've customized your loadouts. And uh, right now I only have two loadouts available. The others um, are locked, and I guess you just need more experience to be able to unlock multiple layout uh, loadouts here, okay? So I do have two loadouts right now, and I've really only focused on customizing the first one. So I'm going to go into this loadout, and you can see here that you can choose what primary weapon you want to load out with. I have the, uh, the battle rifle chosen as my primary weapon. Um... I'm not necessarily positive that that's my favorite weapon yet, but it doesn't have any bloom. It's a fantastic medium to long range weapon. Uh, you know, real real solid choice here. You know, this is probably what I'd recommend. Uh, maybe the DMR, depending on your preferences. And I'll get a little bit more into weapons later. That's not the intention of this video. But 
um, you know, you want to go in here and make sure you pick a weapon that you're comfortable with. So you can do uh, your primary weapon, which I've I've selected the battle rifle. There's other uh, weapons that you can choose here. And uh, keep in mind, you do have to purchase um, with in-game funds, not not real funds, not Microsoft points, but with kind of uh, credits that you earn in the game. You can kind of purchase and unlock new weapons for your loadouts. Okay, um, so. I've got primary weapon and then secondary weapon. You can go in and pick something here. There's not, not a lot of choices for now. Uh, and your secondary weapon, for, for at least my purposes, for, for my skill level, I can only choose between these two weapons. Uh, you can also choose whether you want the plasma grenades or frag grenades. Uh, also, there's pulse grenades available. I don't uh, have those unlocked yet. I don't have enough experience or prerequisites. Uh, also, the armor ability. So this is really huge. So let's go in here. Right now, I have the active camo loaded out. I haven't really used any of these a lot, so I can't really recommend any specific one for now. Um, the uh, jetpack has seemed very, very popular with most people. Um, I'm not really crazy about jetpacks in general. I didn't like them in Halo Reach that much. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about them in Halo 4, but they have been very, very popular. So if you want to load out with jetpacks, this is where you need to go. You come into this menu, you can choose jetpacks. Unfortunately, I don't have enough credits right now to purchase this armor ability, so I can't do that. The only one that I have available right now is active camo. And um, as you play the game, I'm not sure how the credit system works, how you get more credits. It's probably, you know, just pertains to ranking up and so forth. I only played maybe 10 or 11 games, and I probably earned at least 10 or 11 credits. So they, they seem to come available pretty quickly i wouldn't worry too much about it you know if you play the game for a few hours you should be able to purchase just about anything you need to it's really not a big deal but um so so there's the armor abilities uh tactical package this is new frankly i'm not even totally sure what this is and how you use it yet but it's going to be very very important and so you want to make sure that you've gone in and chosen a tactical package that's suitable for the way that you play the game so uh, the bottom line is, you know, when you go into Halo Reach, um, you didn't get to choose any of these loadouts. You didn't get to customize any of these features. You just kind of got stuck with whatever um, three, four, or whatever Bungie kind of had set up. You just picked one. Here, everybody's got fully customizable loadouts, and it dramatically affects the way the game plays out. So you want to make sure you've gone in and uh, customize your loadouts at least have one loadout that you really really like that's what I've got right now and then you can work on building a second and a third and a fourth loadout as time goes on and you can kind of use uh, those different variants depending on the way that the game turns out right so as is the in the middle of the game you're gonna have the opportunity to change which loadout or to pick a different loadout mid game when you're dead and you're going to want to have multiple loadouts at your disposal. I don't, I can't do that yet because I don't have enough credits to purchase all these multiple loadouts. But that's something you want to work towards as you continue to play the game. So, uh, again, uh, I'm going to wrap this up so we can get into a tips and tricks uh, actual gameplay video. But uh, make sure you've gone in and you've adjusted your controller. Make sure you're saving your uh, files that, that you, you know from your very best game so you can go back and rewatch those. Make sure you go in and you customize your loadouts, customize your armor, customize your ID, so on and so forth. And you can also follow up on your career and all your ranks and challenges here at the Spartan Hub. So, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Please uh, like, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe. Please add this video to your favorites. Uh, I'm going to have plenty more tips and tricks videos. Several more today, several more in coming days. I'm going to be covering all different facets of the game. And if you want to make sure that you stay on top of the competition, then you're always one step ahead. Make sure that you're tuned into my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.